So currently, every organization following, they are using the SAP dedicated tool for the upgrades for any kind of things, upgrade, release upgrade, SPS upgrade. So DMO migration conversions, we are using the dedicated tool that is called the some tool we are using. Some tool we are using for some means SAP <coughs> upgrades using the some tool here. SAP upgrade using the some tool here. Some means software upgrade manager tool. Software upgrade manager tool here. Some tool here. So using this tool, we are doing the SAP upgrade, support pack upgrade, all those things we are doing in the systems, right? So here, here the sum tool, sum tool. So what is required to perform the sum tool? For the spam and send, we need to download the patches. We have to load into the application server level and front end. Then we can distribute, display, define the queue and we can do the things here, right? But for some tool, we require the there are the some prerequisites we have to perform from the sum tool here. There are the prerequisites we have to perform it. So what are the prerequisites? <clears throat> what are the our prerequisites we have to perform for the sum tool here? To perform these activities, first of all, system should be SAP system should be in maintenance planner. In the maintenance planner, in the service marketplace, there is a maintenance planner system should be should be up to date system should up to date okay up to date in service marketplace maintenance up to date means the current system component version and maintenance planner component version should be up to date up to date here whatever the components here we have same way it's up to date here sir what happens if you don't if you're not up to date right so what if what if if system is not up to date not system is not up to date <clears throat> so this is this type of questions cross questions you will get we will say during the interview point of time what are the pre steps we do for the some upgrades right the first step is we will say like system should be up to date in the maintenance planner so suppose the system is not up to date what you will do then in this case, we need to we need to push the data data to so Solman SLD Solman SLD to there is a Solman LMDB will pick up the data then it will transfer the data to Solman SLD LMDB then it will transfer the data to the service marketplace and the maintenance planner then explore systems there is an option in the service market but it will push the data here the system should be up to date here so if not then we have to we need to push the data to solman sld from so push the data rz70 your system rz70 that is the sld data pushing to solman sld we have to push the data from here to here we have to here to here so which means log into the system rz70 then we have to provide the your solution manager SLD details here. Solman SLD details, we have to provide it. Then port number, we have to provide it. Then click on the enter button. Then data collection tell take time. Do you want to send the data to the data collector? So that if you send the data to data collector, it will transfer the data. Just for example, I have given the dummy solution manager SLD. Okay. Then it will send the data to the solution manager here. So we will say like RFC call successful. Now it is failed because of there is no destination like this here. So that's the we will the so when you send it here, it will go to the solution manager SLD. Then solution manager is the one product which is will monitor the all the satellite systems and everything here. Solution manager system. So that is the reason solution manager we are doing this one here. Then LMDB automatically lmdb will pick up the updated data will send it to the service marketplace maintenance planner sir where can i check this one i will show you okay that is what we have to do that one so once we system got updated in the solution manager then so go to the maintenance planner explore systems select the system which system you want to update it then calculate the calculate the calculate the so stack 
configuration file calculate the target patch level calculate mm -hmm. the target patch levels hello sir hello sir for the solman can we use that saint code for the some upgrade <clears throat> some upgrade saint ah uh, saint code uh, to means uh, to get that uh, sys info xml file that is for the uh... That is for the in case of if you don't have the solution. Next point is like that only. So mm. next point is like in case of suppose like okay I will I will mention here itself. In case of suppose like in case of you don't have so your company don't have in case of you don't have solman mm. system. So what mm. we have to do in case of we don't have the solution manager system. So what we have to do it here. In case of solution we don't have solution manager then manually download the sysinfo.xml file from saint t code then uh, upload into so service marketplace maintenance planner mp and explore systems so in case of if you don't have the solution manager right we have to perform this activity manually download the system for safety code and we have to upload it if we have the solution manager push the data to via solution manager to finally it will reach it to the maintenance planner and uh, explore systems tab only in case of uh, sir i don't have the solution manager i have the sap system and uh, so maintenance planner i don't have the solution manager so here in that case in that case what we have to do right so manually push it manually push the data to the here itself only manually pushing the data to here itself only we have to do that one right that is what we have to do that one here okay in case of you don't have the solution manager system right go to a maintenance planner explore system select the system calculate so this is a next step once we have the system so once we have the system in the maintenance planner then go to the explore systems so then calculate the target patch levels then download the download the stack card xml file and uh, download the all the patches all the patches and so move the move the patches to patches to sap app server os level we have to move it primary application server then so start the sum tool that is the so next version, how to start the sum tool, how to calculate all those things are next one. But first of all, we should know about all those things here, right? So how to system should be up to date. First of all, how to check whether system is up to date or not. Then how to calculate the patches and everything. So in case if you don't have the solution manager, how to check it out. So all the information, how to check, how to do that one, right? So in that case, in that case, so let's log into the service marketplace so this is the service marketplace then system provisioning and the maintenance planner right system provisioning and the maintenance planner system should be up to date in the maintenance planner all the maintenance activities we have to plan using the maintenance planner option but here um, i will pass the recording so why because i will tell you then we have down we have calculated the xml file how to download calculate the files then once downloaded then we can move to the application server level copy paste we can use it or say move command or whatever command then the next step for the pre steps as a application server level so there is a here for upgrading the upgrade using the sum tool there is a downtime downtime will be involved so we need to agree with to agree with to sap downtime activities when we have to perform the system when we have to take the system downtime activities they are the downtime activities are involved in the when we are doing with the sum tool here right then after that step number six here means your manager management will take care of this part so that is fine then we need to download it there are the, some pre steps in the sap level they are the so when you are doing no failed update records in sm13 right also no no stuck entries no mc ex mc ex ex 
star queues in smq2 transaction code it should not be any queues stuck in the smq2 also 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 no uh, unreleased transports unreleased transports in the system also so no inactive objects in seat seat so these are the and also we should have should have should have enough enough free space enough free space at os level at operating system level at least so 30 gb free space is required 30 gb free space at os level and database level it should be required so that we can start the sum tool then proceed with the some upgrade activities but before that so we this one we have done anyhow i will download it i will move to the application server level this one we have done but this one we have to check it out no field update records go to the sm13 sm13 then check the if any failed update records we should not have any failed update records in the system but here six items are there you should clear it you have to prepare the systems why because this one we are going to update it so you guys should prepare that one next one is the so uh unreleased transports if you go to the se01 just type star there should not have any unreleased transports so here there are the unreleased transferable transport modifiable transports either we have to unlock it or we have to release these transports workbench transports especially then no uh inactive objects if you go to the se80 here there is a inactive objects so just put the star then check it out here there's if any inactive object it will give you the list here we don't have any inactive objects if anything we have to activate the objects so and also in smq2 there are no failed update records in smq2 we don't have any failed update records not, no failed queues here nothing is hello sir yes sir in sc01 there is a modifiable transport right so we need to unrelease that or can we lock unlock yeah can we we have to unlock it unlock yes. it unlock means so just to go to the se03 then the objects are locked so if the objects are locked how the some upgrade means some so patches are updating means current objects foregrounds are getting upgraded to the latest version if the foregrounds are locked in the transport request if the foregrounds are locked in the transport request what will happen so the foregrounds are what will happen so that object will not be updated there is any consistency that's why we have to unlock it so we need to check how many transports are there just to provide the transport request number just click on the unlock unlock the unlock it here the object will be unlocked from these transports then we can continue the remaining steps here that's what we have to do otherwise what will happen some will detect that issues and will flag during the some execution when the sum tool is running in the p processing or check phase so it will throw the errors boss you have some open items in the system so please clear it out like that it will give you the information okay 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 but i see we have the open uh, open update records are there so you guys tomorrow when we start the class so please perform the all the checks in the nw1 system if any open records are found just to open updates any queues are stuck just to, so delete those things any unreleased transports lock it out any inactive objects just to just to choose it anything and space all those things you need to clearly check it out then by tomorrow we should be ready with the all the patches should be downloaded and all the prerequisites should be meet it then in the next class what we have to do start the sum tool start the sum tool then proceed with the sum activities proceed with the sum activity these are the main thing here how to start the sum tool what are the preparation activities then how to start the sum tool how many steps are there in the sum tool so those are those things are very important so entire upgrade is very important but prerequisite also very important so please so carry out this work here why because now without downloading the, all the files we cannot do anything so we should download it all the files here so what i will do 
i will i will do it in the offline uh, then all the patches are downloaded then tomorrow we'll start the sum tool and our other activities okay i will do it after some time so since i'm not, I'm not well today just so having some cold so i will okay. do it after some time okay sir uh, at os levels means uh, we can check using st0 